On the morning of July 12th, I woke up, got on the scale, put on workout clothes, and walked out the front door. The number on the scale needed immediate attention, and the quickest, fastest, and easiest thing that I could do was walk the trails in my neighborhood. So that's what I did. I've walked this trail on and off over the years, but never with any consistency. But there was something different about July 12th. Sierra Friend, creator of the Moxie Life Planner System, says there's three types of goals, stretch, progress, and maintenance. And at this point, exercising with any consistency was definitely a stretch goal for me. But I knew that if I could achieve it, it would be life-changing for me. So I thought I would at least attempt the stretch goal of exercising with consistency. So the next morning, July 13th, I got up and I walked. And the following morning, I got up and I walked again, and again, and again. Before I knew it, it was the weekend. And I thought, I, maybe I could take the weekend off. But I knew before, any time I took a break, it ended up being a permanent break. So I decided, no weekends off. So that Saturday and Sunday morning, I got up and walked. It's day 10. I walked every morning for the last 10 days, at least two miles. And before I knew it, two weeks had gone by and the scale was actually beginning to move in the right direction. On day 23, I got on the scale and I had lost eight pounds, but my diet really needed some attention. So I signed up for a one week free trial of noon. And the skills that I learned there really helped me get my diet in control. It's day 24 and I had a, oh, so this is how it ends moment when I saw a coyote on the trail. By the end of that one week trial, I'd lost another six pounds and on day 30, I weighed in 15 pounds lighter. There was no way I was stopping now. My stretch goal had turned into a progress goal. I could clearly see that walking every day was impactful for me. And now not only did I have vision, but I had action and I had progress. Days 31 through 60 are kind of a blur and I lingered on a plateau basically the whole time. But at the end of day 60, I weighed in and I'd lost another 5.2 pounds for a total of 20.2 pounds lost in 60 days. At this point, it's September the 10th. School started, my routines have changed, and I had three straight weekends of travel planned. So I had a decision to make. Am I gonna continue walking while I travel or am I gonna take a break? So I decided for each trip, I would at least pack my workout clothes. The first trip I took, I walked on the treadmill at the hotel. And then on my second trip, there was a beautiful lake that had a one mile loop around it. It felt like a wink from God saying, you keep going girl, keep going. So I walked that trail each morning of my trip. At the beginning of the month of September, I set a goal to walk 75 miles. At the end of that month, I was able to track 75 miles. First of all, I am not the after workout, show you how sweaty I am person. But today is day 85, 85 consecutive days. I thought I would have quit by now, but here I am. That brings us to today. Day 90, October 10th. Since setting that stretch goal back in July, I have walked over 200 miles, spent over 80 hours on these trails in my neighborhood, and I have lost 27.4 pounds. That's a lot of walking. It's been an eventful journey. I've seen turtles on the trail. I've seen a snake, a coyote, and one morning I came face to face in a standoff with the raccoon. It's all been worth it though. I've met some of my neighbors. I've listened to hours and hours of podcasts and audiobooks. I've prayed for my friends and family while walking these trails. I still jump every time a biker yells on your left, even though I know they're coming. It just scares me for some reason. I don't know why. I've seen so many beautiful sunrises. It felt like an encouragement from the Lord to keep going. I've become a morning person and I learned I can do hard things and I can do hard things consistently. Daily walking has now become a maintenance goal for me. 
I want to sustain the progress I've made and I want to continue pushing forward. So tomorrow I'm going to wake up and I'm going to walk. On cold days, on rainy days, on windy days, I'm going to keep pushing. I'm also going to add in some at-home workouts for strength training, conditioning, and toning. There's a lot of pounds still left to drop on this journey, so consider this update number one. Subscribe so that we can stay in touch. You can also follow Tending Together on Instagram, and you can request to join the Facebook group. So where are your health goals right now? Are they stretch goals, progress goals, maintenance goals? I'd love to hear from you in the comments below because this channel is called Tending Together. It's not just about my goals, it's about our goals and pursuing God and goals in a supportive biblical community. See you next time. This wind is crazy.